refer to Jeremiah 1 verse 9. Jeremiah 1 verse 9 to cap what he just said. The Lord touched my mouth and said, See, I have put my words in your mouth. Today, 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 I appoint you to stand up against nations and kingdoms. You are to uproot some. You are to uproot some. And tear them down. You will destroy and overthrow them. You are to build others and plant them. We are finished products of God. The sum total of our being as espoused by Pastor that I just finished speaking, our dear Pastor Tunde, is that we are finished product. In Genesis 1, 28, he said he blessed them. When you are blessed, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are on this 100% accurate. If God bless, no matter what anybody does, if you are blessed, you are blessed. Right. Later on, we are told that we are finished product of God at the Calvary. When he said, it is finished. Who was he referring to? We are finished in terms of everything, tribulation, whatever pain, whatever setback we've had before was finished at the Calvary. Yes. So by that token, we are testing for greatness in the name of Jesus. Yeah. By that token, yeah. no weapon fashion against any of us will prosper. Mm -hmm. By that yeah. token, yeah. heaven is our limit. Yes. We are to take charge. If you haven't seen yourself from that perspective, I want you to check yourself and say, I am a finished product of God. Finished product. Nothing can be added, nothing can be removed. You are the sort of earth, the light of the world. No weapon, I repeat, fashion against you will prosper. And any tongue that rises against you, judgment, you condemn. Because you carry the awesome presence of God. You command something to come to bear. Joshua commanded the moon and the sun to stay still. And they obeyed. You can command anything to happen and it will come to happen. Yes. Not money. Money will be. The Bible says at the towards the end of time there will be overpouring and pouring. The God is is the silver is. He put us up and put us down. Why do you worry? Seek first seek to first the kingdom of God and the church and every other thing will be added. This thing, I keep on telling people, don't bother yourself about affluence, about money, about anything. They will come to you, they will run and pursue you. If you remember. Solomon, when he was king, had 666 talents of gold. Go to him every year. He never pursued him. He would be in his palace. They would come and meet him. That is our portion of Jesus. Amen. It is our right over principalities and power. Whatever you command on earth is commanded in heaven. Job, in the book of Job, he told us that whatever we establish, whatever we decree on earth is established for us in heaven. Fear not, I will neither live or forsake you 365 times in the Bible. So every day take one. The race is not by the swift, neither the battle by the strong, but time and chance are to them all. And he will determine the chance and time. Jesus. I tell you what, we are privileged. If you are if you think otherwise, I'm sorry for you. You carry the awesome presence of God, you show you anything you decree. If you meet, if you meet, if you by chance meet anybody that is sick. You rebuke the sickness and the sickness will go. You will hear testimonies. The earth, the earth is eagerly awaiting the manifestation of the children of God, like you said. Not, not the birth of the children of God, not the coming of the children of God, but the manifestation. That means we are here already. Travel, look at some, look at yourself and say, I am heavily loaded. Proclaim it. Everybody, I want you to proclaim, I am heavily loaded by the Spirit of God. The Spirit that blessed Christ from the dead, that blessed and said of God, and quickens our mortal body to the glory of His holy name. 
If anybody tells you anything in the country, say the person is a liar. Because one, you are, you are, your body is resident of Christ Jesus on earth. Two, God needs you to, to, to proclaim and carry out instructions and duties on earth. So what do you do? Always sanctify yourself. Don't beg God to be used. Beg God to make you usable. Because the moment you are usable, he will use you. That is the opportunity of Jesus. I want us, because it is not for everybody that these promises are for. It's, for, it's meant for those who believe in Christ. Christ yesterday, Christ today, Christ forever. There is only one name through which you can be saved. There is only one name through which you can assess the good things of life, genuinely. There is only one name that you can make heaven. He's the way, the truth, the life. The way, he who comes to the Father must come to him. If you, if you, if you want to assess heavenly goals, kingdom investment, kingdom wealth, I'm not talking of money necessarily, everything will be added. You need Jesus. The power in, on, on earth, under the earth, above the earth, in heaven, all powers have been given to him. He will make you sick free, you will be sick. He will make you have audacity, tenacity, courage. You speak with power, with vigor. You speak with courage. They will plan, but nothing will meet you. A future of righteous and mirrors, the Bible says. But guess what? The Lord delivers from them all. Not from some, from them all. Yes. So you should not be afraid of anything. Whether personnel that fly by a new day or whatever, don't bother yourself. They may try to hurt you, they can't get to at you. Because you carry the awesome presence of God. So what do you do? The Bible tells us that as many as those who call on Jesus, who believe that he is our Savior, will be given power to be trained of God. That means you need power to be a son of God. Because of tribulation on earth, because of the backbiting, maligning and all that. So I want us to, it's optional, but I advise us to say after me. The Bible records that one, our righteousness is as filthy as filthy rag. We are born again Christian, but once in a while we see by eyes, by thought, by action, by inaction. Nobody is righteous. It's only Jesus that is righteous. But that does not mean we should take grace for granted. Even though we have that disposition of grace according to uh, uh, Paul. I want us to be we are fair to follow him. In the name of Jesus, I hereby confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Lord Jesus came and bore my sins and carry my tribulations, pains, and everything negative concerning me. Everything negative. By that token, he was crucified and he was the third day. And by that, all my sins have been forgiven in the name of Jesus. I repent of every sin knowingly or knowingly. I pledge my loyalty to Lord Jesus Christ. Father Almighty, forgive me my sins. Forgive me my sins. And take me as your son and your daughter, as case may be. Take me as your daughter. Father, please write my name in the book of life. Write my name in the book of life. Why on earth let me finish well? Why on earth help me finish well? And let me reign with you in heaven in Jesus' name. Let me reign with you in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus, as many that have that said this, visit them and meet them of the Lord and in the name of Jesus. Fight the fight the you for the battle to that one. Protect them. Protect their beloved ones, protect everything they, they, they put their hands to do. Whatever they put their hands to do, let them succeed in the name of Jesus. 
Though we confession the case, any of them will prosper henceforth. Order their footsteps shall rise and bless them immeasurably in the name of Jesus. Let your countenance show upon them. Let everything about us be perfect in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Now, I want us to exercise our feet more. I tell people that I want this. If you belong to Jesus' family, sickness will be near to you. Completely. When others are saying they are casting, that you say they are lifting up. You may experience challenges, but they will weigh you down. Because he is there 24 hours for you. He's, he's, he's kind of what they call back room. They will try, but they, they can't get to you at you. You step on scorpions, it pours, nothing will burn, it means hurt you. You may pain you, but it won't hurt you. There's a difference between being pain and being hurt. He will fight your battle, he will fight the sin and unseen battles, and increase at ultimate level. That is the question of Jesus. I want us today, whatever that is wrong with you, anybody under the influence of this administration, I want you to feel it, touch the place, and just answer as I pronounce the really power of Jesus Christ. First, you have to believe. The greatest challenge we Christians have is lack of belief. The Bible records, like Pastor Tunde said, whatever you ask my father, whatever is a blanket approval, he will grant. Why not exercise your faith today? Remember, I said, it's irrelevant the number of years you have suffered the tribulation, the, 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 the sickness, and all that. Just believe. I want us to close our eyes and focus on Jesus because He is the only healer. Husband does not have power to heal anybody. I'm just a vessel to be used. And you will be healed instantly in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I want you to say Amen, everybody. Amen. I speak as a servant of God, based on the anointing in my life by Jesus Christ. Every sickness, every name sickness must bow in the name of Jesus Christ. I command the healing power to affect and destroy every sickness in our bodies in the name of Jesus. I rebuke every sickness in our body to go leave us now and go to the abyss of fire and stay permanently in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare total healing, holistic healing, total healing, be paralysis, be kidney related, be whatever name is called, kidney, pain, diabetes, whatever name. Get out of your body in the name of Jesus. Get out of the name of Jesus. I command you in the name of Jesus to get out. Go to the good place. Go, go, go to the abyss of fire and say, you don't have any right over them. These are children of God. They have confessed Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior. So completely they have dissociated from you. The, 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 by the killing, by, by the discussion of Christ Jesus, will be removed from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. So we don't have any business with the kingdom of darkness anymore. Darkness, get out of Jesus. Get out of Jesus. I command you in the name of Jesus to get out of the land. Economic stagnation, whatever stagnation, be it foundational be it causes, whatever cause in your life, I rebuke in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that great problem, arthritis, hepatitis, whatever name is your name, in the name of the sickness is called. I rebuke it by fire by the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name I pray. In the name of Jesus. There are somebody with eye problem, cataract, cataract or whatever it's called, just be cleared now in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. There are somebody listening, watching us through Facebook. Their name is Tunde. Tunde. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Just in case of kidney problems. Whatever that is remaining in your body that is not God, I rebuke in the name of Jesus. Father, you said whatever I decree on earth is decreed in heaven. I decree that everyone under the face of this administration is made whole in the mighty name of Jesus. From crown of your head to your toes, perfect healing right in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, because we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Yes, yes, yes. I feel it. Amen. I feel it. Amen. I feel it. I feel it. There is somebody amongst us. You've been having waste problem for the past two years. Two years. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. 
Can we clap for Jesus? Clap for Jesus. He is doing it. The greatest mistake anybody will make is to say no to Jesus. He's real. If I'm telling you he's real, he's real. Whatever that is wrong with you before, check it now. I want you to check it. Check it. If you know you are like, still having any problem, let me know. Because Jesus is here. Check whatever. If you couldn't walk, walk. If you couldn't die, if you couldn't jump up, jump up. Whatever you couldn't do, do it now in the name of Jesus. You'll be let free. You'll be let free. You are free indeed. Who the, who the Lord has set free is free indeed. That's your portion of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise Amen. Hallelujah. Please, Amen. you can all un unmute yourselves. Hallelujah. Um, it's testimony time. I'm so excited um, that um, it's time to encourage ourselves to, you know, uh, the Bible said, we, and they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of their testimonies. Um, it's a season that um, God has been so faithful to us. Um, I know a lot of us here, on this platform, God is doing so many things I know so well, but um, sure. because of time, we might not be able to take so much. But um, I want to begin with um, Brother Don Williams. I don't know if, if he's online, Brother Don Williams. Are you online? Start your testimony. Hallelujah. Okay, hey. he's not online. Okay, if he's not online, we can take um. Engineer Ibubi Sonny, hallelujah, from Nigeria. Engineer Ibubi Sonny, Sonny Ibubi, are you there online? You can unmute yourself. You can unmute yourself. Hallelujah. hallelujah. Can you hear me? Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, God. Can, can somebody shout hallelujah? Yes, man. Glory, 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 glory. The Bible says we overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. Brother, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I mean, I'm so excited to share this wonderful testimony among the brethren. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Some time ago, I, I, I had a call from Abuja, from my uncle's wife. He was sick down of a stroke um, for some time all the medications he has defied all medications and i was like god what do we do and I, I was preparing to travel to abuja as god we have it i got to abuja but before i before i go to abuja i i, I left here in lagos i left from lagos here with the banner Brethren, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. I was so surprised. I used to hear, I do hear about how God heals with the apron and uh, somebody said he the, 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 the coat, the clothes of a servant of God, he put it on and at the end of the day, he got healed all the whole disease disappeared. Brethren, to my greatest surprise, when I go to Abuja, I saw my uncle lying down very, very sick. He was paralyzed. I'm getting there. I say, Uncle, he couldn't even recognize me. And uh, I had this faith that if, if he can, or if he possible for him to lie on this very banner, and that banner is Painter Ministries banner. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm so amazed. I'm so amazed. I'm so amazed. It sounds so unbelievable. I'm so amazed. Could you believe that on uh, that night I called him, say, Uncle, uh, I, I believe that you are going to be okay and uh, God is going to heal you. And I believe that the God of my pastor, Apostle Albert Ajago, is doing wonders. He said, How? I said, Uncle, please, can you? I'm, I'm going to lay this uh, uh, banner as a, as a mattress so that you are going to lie on it. But brethren, could you believe that my uncle urinates right in the room? He urinates right there in the room. And when I laid this banner, he laid on the banner 
To my greatest surprise, my uncle got up in the morning straight to the restroom. He was shouting, I saw Uncle Herman. He said, at night, he felt a heat. He felt something like a force to you know, touch his body. I saw him saying that this thing, he said, do you, brethren, hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. Everybody was so amazed. I said, but, but, but you see, but I wanted to share this testimony some weeks ago, but the devil has been fighting this testimony. Last Saturday, I traveled from <laughs> Lagos to Ibadan. So for me to share the testimony, the, the, my device went off. I said, devil, whether you like it or not, I'm going to share this testimony today. In fact, as I am talking with you, my uncle is getting better and better and better. I'm sharing this testimony on his behalf. We tell him I'm going to show him physically because he's going to come, you know, present to share this testimony. But to God be the glory. The Bible says, we are by the word of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. Brother, I'm so excited. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Wow, wow. That, that is awesome. That is awesome. God is indeed with us. We will share this news to the world. They will know that mm. God is indeed with Pentium Ministries. The world of nations. Yes, the nations haven't seen anything. The Bible said the creature earnestly, the creatures earnestly wait mm. for the manifestation of the, the sons of God. Sons of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> From Nigeria, that is beautiful. Hallelujah. Um, mm. uh, we we were yeah. going up uh, to, to the next person. We have uh, our evangelist from South Africa, Evangelist Fofo Motlahaga. Can you, uh, Evangelist Fofo, can you share a testimony with us? Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Amen. Yes, firstly, I would like to say thank you to uh, Pentium Ministries for helping me restore my phone. I'm Amen. using a new handset. Yeah, I was having problems with my old phone. Hallelujah. Thank you so much. Amen. To God. Amen. Amen. Yes. And this, secondly, <laughs> I've gotten a job. Wow. I started work. I wow, started glory. work on Very Friday after, oh, yes, after 10 years. Wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, and and the, the message, when I received the invitation for this job, the message the apostle sent in the morning was uh, the divine appointment that will be having a divine appointment. So I was expectant that day. And the person who employed me is even wanting to buy our family house. We bought our family house. We lost our family house. And uh, he wants to buy the family house. Both my parents are late and they sold the family house. So we didn't have a home. So he's willing to buy it again, and he gave me a job so that he, I can be paying off. So that is a very Hallelujah. good testimony for me. Hallelujah. Thank you. 
in the name of Jesus. Amen. Within 24 months, you get a big house. Amen. 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 Write it down. Amen. I this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Total economic revival into your family. Amen. Amen. Total wealth transfer into your family. Amen. Amen. God will show Amen. you secret places you need to know in order to uh, fulfill your destiny of Jesus. Amen. People will know that your destiny of us will come Amen. from four corners of the world to help you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Is latest, latest, it will be less than that. Mm. Yes, it. amen. Yeah, Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. That you will know that Jesus is real. And the God in Benjamin ministry is the real Jesus. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Um, I, 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 think, I think we all need to key into that prophecy. I'm keen into that prophecy. I know you, everybody, everybody, uh, that prophecy is not just for Yes. I see you too. Every ministry, Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you. Amen. 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 Next three years, latest, you become a member. Amen. 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 God will show you new yes. ideas, wealth. God will show you the kingdom principles that will take you to the next level in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 God is the God that holds everything. He put us up and put us down. He put us up and put us down. Amen. He will withhold any good thing from us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Like, Amen. Once I get the Lord, we change the name of Jesus. Receive this time of Jesus. Receive this time of Jesus. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Economic strangulation. Amen. Get out of the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God is open now. Amen. Bless whatever you want. Amen. Amen. You want that. Amen. 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 You have three minutes to do that. Yes. Whatever you wish from God now. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for all the doors. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus, Lake of Pali and Tenenos, May your power, my Father, pulverize this place, my Father. May your power be felt. Every Amen. person that is a member of Pentium Ministries, Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, ask for the Jesus. power of the living God. Hover Thank us. you, Jesus. Now, possible right now, in the name of Amen. Jesus. May every prophecy that has been said, uh, Father, be made manifest in every member of this ministry in the name of Jesus. Amen. Spirit of the living God. Thank you for answering prayers. Jesus name. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 God. Hallelujah. 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 I, 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 I want to say something. Uh, um, I think in less than 12 months, somebody here is going to move into his own apartment in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, the apostle has already spoken to our lives. And we 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 are we are moving in that in that dimension. We are moving that dimension. Divine help us from every part of the world is going to locate us in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Um, I, I, I think I think that is one of this is one of the benefits in Pentium Ministries that as we begin to key in, you know, doors, uh, you know, immeasurable doors begin to get open to us. You understand? And then. You know, I know that things, stops are going to happen and God is going to do beyond we are expecting in Jesus' name. Yeah.